What up boys and welcome back to yet another gold farming video. So in today's video we're looking at something that has been highly requested by you guys and that is student how can I make gold solo and steady gold because they don't want to rely on RNG. Well it's no secret that if you try to do any dragonflight related materials solo the gold per hour isn't the best but that's pretty common when we're at the state that we're in right now with the current expansion so there's way higher gold per hour to be made in the old content and there's a couple of uh, examples of that one that i want to show today that is particularly good because of uh, patch 1017 and the profession achievement more specifically the destined to be legendary where you need to craft the sulfur and hammer in order to get this profession achievement now before we dive into all the numbers and all of that big thank you to every single one of you guys for picking up the uh, zero to 10 million gold guide the support has been absolutely massive and if you don't have it yet you can check it out with the link in the description and don't forget to use the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT for 50% off. Because the guide right now is sitting at over 180 pages of the best methods and tactics that I personally use in order to achieve multiple gold caps. But not only that, it also comes with a lifetime of free updates. So whenever there's a new patch or even a new expansion, I update the book and I send that latest version directly to your mail. For free. For life. So... That is the achievement and the reason why the prices are going up. I've talked about it in previous videos before, but the prices seems to be uh, quite steady. Now, in the two materials needed to craft uh, the sulfur and hammer, well, in particular is uh, two that you can farm in Molten Core, and that will be uh, the Dark Iron Bar and also the Blood of the Mountain. Like Those are the materials of interest. Now, all these materials, uh, besides from the Arcanite Bar, can be... Uh, farmed in molten core but we want to aim for the blood of the mountain and the dark iron bar so in order to get that you'll need mining because uh the main thing you're gonna get the uh the dark iron bar from is mining the dark iron deposits right that's the only source of getting the the dark iron ore now you need eight ore to make it into a bar uh, but mine all of these dark iron deposits throughout the entire raid do not uh you don't have to kill any bosses or anything like that because you want to clear out uh, all the veins and then you want to run out reset the raid and run back in so you can just mine it 10 times an hour but it's very important to also kill these molten destroyers because while you're mining the dark iron deposits you do have a chance of getting blood of the mountain uh, from the deposits themselves uh but the uh uh, molten destroyer mobs can also drop the uh, the blood of the mountain so make sure you kill all of those and when it comes to how much gold you can make uh doing this if you do uh it for uh an hour 10 hours 20 hours i found an old video of mine with enough data where i pretty much did the molten core a hundred times to see how much gold i would make and i averaged pretty much six blood of the mountain um i got a total of 58 right so per hour is like roughly six uh, blood of the mountain an hour and then i got 613 dark iron bars so 61 dark iron bars an hour now the prices at least in the eu is uh quite steady it's 170 gold in my realm 180 gold uh region market average while the blood of the mountain is sitting at 1500 gold at the moment so that means that doing blood uh, molten core right now only mining all of the veins but also killing the uh destroyer uh mobs uh, i'm gonna average over 20,000 gold an hour in materials that sells pretty damn well like fast these days so it's still a higher gold per hour than you're gonna get solo uh farming most materials in dragonflight but we're still talking about materials in the demand so they will sell they're not gonna act like the uh dragonflight materials where you put them on the auction house and boom they're gone the second you post them on the auction house but they still sell quite steadily and way faster than any form of collectible like transmog and so on so definitely a farm uh, that i would suggest to you guys if you're happy with making roughly twenty thousand gold an hour and there's actually right now there's quite a bit of farms that average twenty thousand gold plus in the old content so uh, if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section down below 
and I can do more videos on uh, the topic of steady gold solo. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, and that way you'll be notified whenever those videos drop. But for now, that's pretty much it for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide link down below, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.